Hey everybody, Ben here with We Go Fishing. Karen is here with me as well. And we're going to do some fishing news of the week. Before we do that though, we have our new banner. Banner. Yeah. Yeah. At our uh, We Go Fishing yeah, banner. Yeah, that was cool. Came up pretty nice. Got the YouTube, Instagram. We are also on Twitter, but Twitter is just a wasteland lately. It's gotten worse. I just don't get on it anyhow. Right. And Instagram is just pictures, so YouTube's still our main thing. Um, Plus, but, Twitter, you know, deletes what they don't like. Yeah, I've not been too know. happy with Twitter, so I'm not putting them on our banner. And, and they're going to feel that. <laughs> they're going to feel all the wrath of my followers. I'm sure. All 55 Twitter is very unhappy. Twitter is very unhappy, I'm sure. <laughs> yes. Anyway, all right. They'll lose so much money. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 I'm, I'm sure Jack is just quaking in his boots. He has no idea what he is messed with. All right. Anyway... Glad to be here with you this week as we go through some fishing news of the week. And our first article, and again, I put all the links to all the articles because I know some people are like, that ain't real. But I put all the links to all the articles in the description below along with other channel information, all that stuff. So you can click on them. You can read them yourself. Um, this first one comes out of KSAT, which is a uh, publication from San Antonio. And I found this interesting because we have fished in this lake. We have. We didn't catch anything. Well, it was like pouring was, rain yeah, also. Yeah, we tried <laughs> so. to go out. We were stubborn. It was one of those days where we decided to be stubborn and go out even though we shouldn't have gone out mm -hmm. because it was raining and it was nasty. And we Windy said, we're going to go out anyway because we're already up here. And we had drove all the way to San Antonio to go out on this lake. It's got redfish in it. And, and apparently monsters. And here there be monsters. Mm -hmm. Fishing Guide gets video of Alligator and Calaveras Lake. Um, some people deny this. Matter of fact, even in the Rio Grande, people say, deny that there's alligators mm -hmm. in it. And I've got video from Border Patrol of alligators in the Rio Grande. Oh. So there's no alligators I in the I tell everyone Grand. there's alligators. Spread the word. Spread the word. There's <laughs> alligators in it. Anyway. All right. So many people don't realize that there are alligators in Bexar County. That's the county of uh, the San Antonio area where uh, the Calaveras Lake is. Mm -hmm. um, but there are. It's a fishing guide at Calaveras Lake. Got proof of it on video. So it's going to be really hard to... Um, refute this. I'm not going to play the video because of you know YouTube's uh, stuff, but you can click on it. You can go here and you can look. Um, he took the video from a pier and estimated the alligator about seven to eight feet long. So we're not talking a small dude here. Well, I'm staying in my boat now. <laughs> staying. In, we had no water skiing <laughs> yeah. or anything like that. Well, that one, uh, that lake is probably more for fishing anyway. But yeah. I do know when the kids get hot, they want to get in the water, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, I don't know. About alligators. This. I don't know about this. Um, fishing guy for many years. This guy says that there have been several alligators. So he sees them. Um, it's part of Texas. Makes Texas cool. He said until now he hadn't seen an alligator in a couple of years. They usually come and go from more heavily from more populated areas of the lake after heavy rains. Mm -hmm. um, that would, San Antonio had been getting some rain, so that's we're not getting much rain here in Laredo. But um, they're stealing our rain. They're stealing our rain up there. That's okay. We're not. I, I'm mad. I hate. Um, after all, alligators generally don't like to be around people as much as we want to be around them. Um, but the Calaveras Lake is it does have warm water in it because of the power plant. Yeah. So that's probably what drew it there. And they estimate, if you look at this article, it says they estimate about a half a dozen alligators in Calaveras Lake so they can reproduce. They're there. Mm. I, I guess I always picture gators as in the swamp people and yeah, you know swamp people alligators they need to stay over in the swamp well i don't but... i mean with only a half dozen i don't think that we're in any case of being overrun by alligators no no and they've got plenty of food got they've got the red of, fish they can eat the catfish fish. a big catfish in calaveras as well mm -hmm. so yeah um, plenty of things to eat alligators in texas are protected game animal you can't hunt them raise them or possess them without special permits so do keep aware of that as well um, they also don't like to relocate them. They just kind of leave them where they are. So, interesting, I thought, for those of you uh, who have fished Calaveras Lake, let us know if you've seen alligators. Um, that would be interesting, because I know some of you that watch the channel do fish Calaveras Lake. Mm -hmm. And so let us know if you've seen them, because they apparently are there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on to another one. This one was interesting as well. Um, we have several, we have three different ones I'm going to show you for record-breaking catches, because that's always fun to see the big fish. Mm -hmm. And here's the first one. We're in Texas, obviously, so I'm going to show you the Texas one first. It's because like the Monster Texas. Quest edition. Monster, yeah, yeah. Monsters, yeah. All right, so Texas Fisherman catches 876-pound tuna. I'm so this jealous. This is record-breaking record fish. Um, it's been officially recognized. Um, Texas Fisherman can now brag about the record. Mm -hmm. and they show the records down here. 
And uh, you can see 2021, April 13th, bluefin tuna, 876 pounds by Troy Lancaster. So uh, congratulations to him. He was also using live bait uh, for this monster, and it actually shows you a, a picture of it there. Hope he has a big freezer. It's a lot of tuna. I don't know if, I mean, in some places you can sell them. I don't know if you can sell tuna here, but um, Troy Lancaster caught the 876-pound bluefin tuna while fishing near Port Aransas. And now I don't know what they, you are not telling me how far offshore he was. I'm thinking he had to be pretty far. I'm thinking when they say off Port Aransas, like he went out of Port Aransas, but he must have still been out near the rigs or something. They could have, but either that or they also may have spelled Port Aransas wrong unless there's a Port Arnasa. So it's spelled A R N A S A. I thought it was, I, I'm taking, I don't know. Earlier I, it said Port Aransas and now this. This story says, Port see, Port yeah, I, I don't know. And maybe there's Unless a port. Unless there's a different port. I've never heard of a port. Ar- port Aransas is where we typically go well, let fishing. Me, let and me. then a Port Arnasa might be a different well, spot. Let's throw a quick Google here. Let's see. Or it's misspelled. Uh, there's no Port Arnasa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a misspelling. Yeah, no, it's going to change it back. There's no. That's, yeah. <laughs> it, it, they, somebody at Fox News can't somebody spell. Somebody at Fox News can't spell. Oh, there it's, we it's, go. It's Aransas. Yeah, um, earlier it says Aransas, and then I'm like, wait. What just happened? Yeah. So, so the previous was 1985, 808 pounds. So it's still pretty big. Um, and uh, then also he caught on April 13th, we already said. I, I don't fish. think we could catch that. Our boat has an 850 pound limit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, not, it's not going on our boat. No, no, no. We'd be like, oh, we're going to need a bigger boat. Yeah. Yeah. We'll Which, just hey, tra- trail it boat. behind until the sharks Until the sharks it. come, yeah. yeah. Catching fish like this in Texas is harder than it looks. Anglers are prevented by federal law from intentionally catching this type of fish in the Gulf. Our fishermen can pay for the permit that allowed them to catch bluefin tuna, um, but this was caught unintentionally, apparently. Um, he wasn't actually fishing for, for the tuna. this tuna. So... Um, Did they say what he was using as bait? I mean, he said live like, bait. It didn't really yeah, say. No. It says the Port Aransas South Jetty, a local newspaper, reported the catch on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> Got my Sean Connery. Yeah. On, on Facebook, according to the news outlet, Lancaster first hooked the monster fish around 9.20 in the morning. And it wasn't until 6.30 in the evening that he was finally able well, to land some calories that, day. that fish. And it took him an hour to get it in the boat. So once they kind of had it floating there, mm. they got to get this thing in the boat. And that took him an hour just to get this thing in the boat. So um, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't want to lose it. Could you imagine your arms? Yeah, but I just can't, I don't understand how you, you, he accidentally, well, he'd had to have big bait, first of all. Yeah, he, he just said live bait. Fishing so, for something big. Yeah, so live bait. He could have been fishing for Wahoo or, um, yeah, you know, troll. I mean, you're trolling. Yeah. You're trolling. So you're going to go for, you know what, you're going to Wahoo, Mahi, um, maybe blue, blackfin yeah. or yellowfin tuna. You have to be pretty far offshore. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I know it says that they was off the coast. I mean, here it says it was off the coast of Port Aransas, but I'm thinking it had, had to be all the way out by the by the oil rigs and stuff. There's no way. But he probably and that's gonna be... did not plan to catch that big of a fish. No, though. because, but I mean, you're taught, you, I would imagine you'd have to be, mm. you know, 12 hours, 14 hours out. I can't think that you're... Any close? I could be wrong. I mean, if hey, if uh, Lancaster, if you're, if you come across this uh, this this um, video, mm-hmm. let us know where you were and how he landed <laughs> it. Because typically, it. A, a fish that big, you're gonna have straps. Yeah. Um, to be able to hold. Yeah, there's it a lot for of information I just don't have on this. Uh, either they traded, like here, you hold it, I hold it, or or they intentionally were going out for heavy fish, like. Sharks. Yeah, I mean, probably they had a they had a. Um, could have been going out for billfish. I mean, I don't know. Anyway. So. So, that's the first record. Yep. Monster. She wants a tuna. That's what she wants. She's been begging yeah, I'm a little bit to jealous. go tuna fishing. And um, I I'm, know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just not that, I'm not a big offshore guy, so. Well, uh, you'd have to spend the night in a boat, and it's a big yeah, thing, no, no, and big I really thing. want a tuna. All right, here's our second record. West Virginia fishing guide um, lands massive musky. Now, Little known fact, Karen and I used to live in West Virginia. Um, there are musky in, that are there, but just not very many. And that's what this is pointing out. It's not a musky hot spot, um, but this is, a, this is a true giant. I mean, look at the size of that musky. 
That is just massive. And if you don't know what a muskie is, if you are a saltwater fisherman, I know we're, we mainly, mainly do saltwater. A muskie <clears> are, they're, they're, they're just like pike pickerel, um, things like that. They're cold water fish. They like deep cold water. So you generally find them up in the Great Lakes and very, very cold water. Mm -hmm. and, and West Virginia but does have cold water. in but... uh, the Kanawha River. Yep. And in this lake, apparently. So fishing guide Chase Gibson caught West Virginia's new state record. 39.6 pound, measured 54 wow. inches long. Um, it was caught in Burnsville Lake, which is a 986 acre lake in central West Virginia. West Virginia's previous state record was 34 pounds. So that's still a massive, 53 inches. So he barely broke it. And that fish was pulled out of West Virginia's little Kanawha River. And uh, for those of you that didn't live in West Virginia and don't know how this word is pronounced, it is pronounced Kanal, not Kanawa. Um, <laughs> even though it looks like it, it should be Kanawa, like it. it is Kanal. They um, have a the lot Kanawha of Native River. American names yeah. in West Virginia. So we pulled but... this out of the Kanal, um, this one out of the little Kanal River. Uh, Gibson targets muskie with his fishing guide company, so he does go out for them. Um, he hooked into the record muskie while fishing a timbered cove, while a group of crappy were suspended. So... 13 inch jerk bait. I was like, that's a big bait. I mean, that talking big about bait. as big, bigger than a ruler. And yeah. that's your bait. That's your bait. So, so you're going for big was, ones. Uh, he was wanting a big one. He was going for a big one. It's not like he was well, trout he, fishing. No, he's a guide. He he knew what he's going after. Mm -hmm. um, but also notice this. Um, she was barely hooked one trip uh, treble in the corner of her mouth. Instead of getting the fish mounted, he decided to release it. So that monster's still out there. So if you're in the Burnsville area. I know they're pointing out, give it a, another summer and he'll be five pounds heavier. Yeah. And catch him again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and that's what it says here. West Virginia is really not known for musky fishing. The most well-known fisheries, the Great Lakes area, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Canada, places like that. The longstanding world record, 67 pound, wow. eight ounce. That's, that's massive. So. I don't know if you eat those, but. Yeah. Not many. I don't know if you you ever eaten a muskie? No, I don't. They're pretty bony. They're bony. It's like right? a freshwater barracuda. Yeah. Um, bony. But but I bet they're fun. But I know one thing that they do love to eat. It's gonna sound bad. Trout. Baby ducks. They love ducks. Really. Mm -hmm. oh. Muskie, big pike. They love. As a matter of fact, they actually sell lures that look, that look like, like ducks. So a little baby duck, you know, landing in the lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very bony. I mean, if you look at them, mm -hmm. they look. I mean, they're like a freshwater barracuda. Yeah. I mean, they're they're just very uh, slender. And this is this one's a big one, and, and yet you're not going to get much meat off of them. I mean, they're. I mean, I, you can mm -hmm. eat them, but I, I I'm not really. I'm not. Okay, here's the last one. Indiana. So if you're out in Indiana, angler catches record-breaking whitefish. This is the eighth time the record has been broken in the last decade. He caught. Um, it says he caught a new one, a Phil, and I'm gonna a Dirk. Dura, is this? <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce his Duras? last name. Duras? I don't Let's know. Assume don't the know. C and the Z are Phil, so. if you're listening to it and you've come across this, let us know how to pronounce your name phonetically. Um, but anyway, he caught a 9.3 pound whitefish while out on Lake Michigan earlier in the month. This beat the new record by 1.65 pounds. So and that's, that's a big, big mm -hmm. whitefish. So. It looks bigger than 9 pounds. Yeah. But... But okay, we'll, but yeah. we'll trust them. And it talks about how they catch them here. Whitefish is only caught by pier anglers using using bottom fishing, slip sinker rig. So it's a fish finder rig. I mean, that's all they're doing mm -hmm. with a small hook, single salmon egg, a little bit of a night crawler. Um, so there you go. Uh, congratulations so to him as well. they must typically have small mouths to do such small bait. Yeah. So. And it says we also see boat anglers targeting them with using jigging spoons or small swim baits. Mm. So... Um, also, he does also note in the, in this uh, article, since the start of the pandemic, there's been an increase in number of people fishing. Um, and so we have seen that. That's why last video we did, if you hadn't watched the last video, the last video we did, we talked about uh, boat safety because there's more people out there. There are more mm -hmm. people engaging in that stuff. So be safe out there. If you didn't see that video, uh, make sure you watch it. Uh, Fox News previous reported this last year, more two dozen catch and release records were set in Idaho. Um, so more people are out there. More people are fishing. More records being Getting broken. Mm -hmm. You've got some citations coming, right? What do mm -hmm. you got? What are you spending for you at the trout? Uh, trout. And uh, I actually sent one in for an incredibly large ladyfish. Ladyfish. We didn't eat it, but we cut it up. But... And that, if you get both of those, mm -hmm. you've already got one for black drum. 
And what mm. else? Don't you have one more? Flounder. Uh, flounder. So you got uh, four. And uh, an oversized crappy, but that's on a freshwater list. And that, but that's Karis's. No, I have one, oh, you have but one it's, too? it's just okay. freshwater. So yeah. she's got four big fish awards. She needs a fifth. Because mm-hmm. in Texas, one more big fish award, and that's a lead angler. You lost yeah. your you lost your amateur status. Well, and then you just get put on a website somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a lead angler. Oh really? Yeah, it's going well, on the wall. Where's yours? I forget to measure my fish. I know you got to send in your paperwork. I know, and I don't do the paperwork, <laughs> and I forget to measure the fish. And uh, but like, you know oh, what? Great, you know what? I, we got to get her for the to complete the big fish award this year. Oh, we have to get a uh, bull red. We want a red mm-hmm. fish. That's what I want to get her. I want to get her a red fish. Plenty of red fish, but I want to get a. You got to get real big one, one oversized. Yeah. Um, and uh, we can do that. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, that'll be done. So, oh, and also don't forget if you are in Texas, uh, make sure you register for the CCA. It's coming up. 29th of May is when that tournament starts. I know. I got to register too. You do not want to catch a tag redfish. You do not want to. And then realize you didn't register. And then you didn't register. And then you see that truck and that boat. Gone. But also kids scholarships. Mm -hmm. So if you got kids that. Lots of Register your kids. Help your kids fish. Yeah. Teach them to fish. You can catch it with them. There's plenty of scholarship Mm -hmm. money out there uh, Mm -hmm. for that. So get involved with that and and do that. Um, I think that's a great thing. So, in any case, just monster. I guess this will be the monster edition of news of the week. We've got alligators. Mm-hmm. We got new records being set, which is awesome. And uh, May's picking up. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to do a. We're, we're have to modify our fishing for the next couple of months because uh, she decided that she wanted to go and break her foot, well, ankle. Yeah, I've. So I've, she's in a boot right now. You can't ankle. see it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to have her lift up her her leg for the video. Thank you. Uh, just, I'm thinking, yeah. of, you. Just tip, thinking uh, of you. Here, pro tip: Don't go running in the rain. Yeah, she decided to go jogging in the rain, and she slipped, she fell, she, she uh, hurt her foot pretty bad, and so she's in a boot probably for the next six to eight weeks. Um, and so we're gonna have to do some modified fishing. Uh, yeah. I'm throwing out a lot more lines off the beach. That, that is <laughs> quite tiring. <laughs> yeah, I br- I can bring them in, but you're gonna have to toss them out. And we'll have to figure out about boat because she can't really stand that well. She's not as, as stable, so. We'll have to figure this thing out for the next couple of weeks, but hopefully we'll be out there. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure you do that. We do the fishing news of the week. We do fishing videos as well. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to us, it really does help us. And we've been growing in subscribers, which is great. I've got something new that's coming that we're going to be starting here in the next maybe month or so. I'll talk to you more about that uh, as it comes out because it's going to be really fun. It's just going to be a fun piece of the channel, I think. Um, as we just expand the content and then, you know, get different content out there. So uh, make sure that you subscribe. If you haven't hit the notifications bell, you get notified when things go live. Also like the video. That really does help us out a lot if when you click that, click that little thumbs up because of YouTube's algorithms and all that. So make sure you do that as well. What's not to like? I know. What's, the, what's not to like? Everything's good luck. So, all right. Well, until next time. May you always catch your limit. We'll see you.